Hey guys, Bobby G here, along with the lovely Mrs. G. Hi. Coming to you live from our compound in Elko. Um, hey, we're putting together a little bit different video. Uh, it's pretty personal, a little emotional. So, uh, hope you stick around. All right, guys. Well, we're back. Bobby G here along with the lovely Mrs. G. And uh, we wanted to put together this video of a journey that we've gone through here these last several months. Um, for some of you that follow me on Twitter or social media, those things, uh, you may have noticed some weight loss. And uh, this, this video is is a little emotional. It's very hard for me. Um, one of the things about us, if you've watched us a, for any amount of time, is you know our, our life's pretty much a, an open book. We don't bullshit people. Uh, we're just us. Take us, take it or leave it. You know, okay. us is us, and uh, you know we don't try to put on any false fronts. So this was was. Uh, opening up a lot more personal than, than sort of what I normally would like. And I struggled over a little bit, but, um, January 8th of, of this year, um, I decided to go in for bariatric surgery and had the gastric bypass sleeve. Uh, thank you with, I mean, just amazing support from Mrs. G here, but, um, I decided to vlog the whole journey from start to finish and took little clips along the way and uh, sort of showed you what I went through and uh, where I'm at now. So it actually started on Christmas Day and that's where the vlog starts because you have to do a couple week pre-diet of liquids only and uh, you'll see that in the vlog. Now, if you don't watch a lot of our videos, uh, there's a few things, you know, first of all, I, I'm known to drop an F-bomb here and there. And <laughs> uh, the other thing is on this video, you may or may not see me without a shirt on. So uh, if F-bombs are possibly seeing me without a shirt on, you find offensive, then you may want to tune out now. But, <laughs> but anyway, um, this is going to be my bariatric journey from start to finish. Uh, my weight is something that I had struggled with for a very long time. Um, and this was for me, me personally. Mrs. G never, she just supported me. She didn't say I should or shouldn't do this. She just stood behind me the whole time. But, uh, and she could easily stand behind me before because I was <laughs> quite, quite a bit wider. But, uh, you know, we, we do all these clips, this right now, everything is unscripted. It's just us and uh, sharing sort of what I went through. Uh, one of the things, a lot of people say having this surgery is cheating or the easy way out. And it has definitely been probably one of the most difficult things that I've dealt with. And I've done pretty extreme weight loss in the past and amateur bodybuilding and different things may throw a few clips in there but uh this was definitely hard and it's still hard and i'm not where i want to be yet i'm about 11 pounds away i've dropped like eight pant sizes so far um but i'm i'm getting close but uh you know it was it's emotional and it's difficult and uh we just want to sort of share this. I'm not sure how long this video will be once I put the clips together, um, but it's going to take you from day one, pre, 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 pre diet, <laughs> uh, starting on Christmas day, 2023, um, up until now. And, uh, then maybe in the future here in a little bit, when I get to my final goals in there, goals will constantly change. We'll 
we'll update but as always we appreciate you watching and like i said this is gonna be a little bit different and you know throw in some comments you know tell me what you think um if we help inspire that's great if we disgust you well then i guess that's too bad too so oh, wow. yeah but <laughs> you know guys thank you and hope you enjoy bobby g's bariatric journey bye hey everybody bobby g here it is december 25th christmas day 2023 um decided to make a video because today is the last day i'm going to be eating solid foods for a while um, I have opted through work, something they offer, to get gastric bypass surgery. Uh, it's going to be done on January 8th up in Boise, Idaho. And uh, today is a, I start, tomorrow I start my pre-surgery diet, which is basically liquids, protein shakes, uh, sugar-free drinks, no caffeine, no alcohol. And uh, that's what I'll be doing for the next two weeks. After surgery, uh, it's going to be more clear liquids and, and such for two to three weeks. And then they will be able to start incorporating food in a little at a time. But uh, I'm doing the surgery where they come in and basically cut your stomach down, staple it, whatever they do in there. And uh, it'll be about the size of an egg. So today is the last day that I'll be eating solid foods, normal foods. Old foods, old habits, I hope all that dies. But uh, struggled with it. I haven't really said anything to anybody. Wasn't sure if I uh, should be embarrassed or not. But, you know, I've been struggling with my weight for quite some time. No matter what I do, it just seems to yo-yo back and forth. Can never get it consistent. And this was something my work offered. And so I decided to go for it. And... Uh, January 8th, up to Boise, Idaho, Dr. Brown, he'll be taking care of this. Uh, got Mrs. G there for support. And I'll bring you guys along with me. We'll uh, we'll see how this goes. I'll, I'll check in and give periodic updates. And maybe a few months down the road, I'll actually uh, put this out. And we'll, we'll see. I'm a little nervous, a little scared about it, but... Uh, you know, I'm not on any medications right now, but some of uh, my blood tests are getting a little borderline. So I'm going to try to take care of this now instead of later. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you. Well, end of day one on the liquid diet, preparing for the surgery. Uh, I have a nice bowl of broth right there that Mrs. G had slaved over a hot microwave and made for me but uh, first day wasn't bad obviously quite hungry but uh, just water some protein shakes some crystal light drinks and that's it so I will uh, check in as I progress a little further yeah uh, maybe a week into this or so and we'll see how things are going and I just wanted to check in uh so far, things going pretty good. Deal with some headaches, a little bit of nausea once in a while, but uh, for the most part, pretty good. Uh, energy seems okay, but uh, just wanted to show you sort of what I'm having to eat right now, and uh, these are sort of my choices. You know, for starters, I take a bariatric vitamin once a day. That I will have to probably take for quite a while after surgery. Uh, a couple times a day I will do a protein shake I just picked up this protein here at Costco but it's got to be high protein low sugar low carb I think this has like three grams of carbs and one or two grams of sugar something like that 24 grams of protein you just mix it with water um, so do a couple of those uh, I look forward in the evening I get a bowl of uh, either beef broth or chicken broth something like that that's uh you know, but it's just broth, nothing else in it. Uh, I can have like sugar-free Gatorades or Powerades, things like that. Um, this would be the most <laughs> solid food I can have, and that would be sugar-free Jello. Um, so I, I have some of that a little bit. And then also I can mix like 
things like crystal light in water to break it up a little bit because I'm drinking a ton of water right now. Um, the first, so I'm on day five. Today's December 30th. It's almost the new year. Oh, happy 2024, I guess. Um, I guess I'm really starting this new year off with a bang. But, uh, the, so it's, it's in the morning, but the last four days I've dropped 12 pounds so far. Um, I guess that's what happens when you, when you don't eat. You, you just lose weight because you got to continue on with your, your daily activities. But uh, for the most part, hanging in there, um, doing pretty good. Uh, thank goodness I have a wife that really helps s support me and, uh, you know, make sure I have everything I need or, or uh, that kind of thing. But uh, got quite a journey ahead of me. So January 8th is the, the big day. I'll be getting that bariatric sleeve, and that's basically where they just remove a good portion of your stomach and then leave something about the size of an egg, what they call the pouch. And uh, that's what I'll have. They're not rerouting the intestines or any of those other kinds of surgeries. This one's supposed to have the least amount of complications. Uh, should only take the doctor about 20 minutes from what he said to, to do this. But uh, after surgery, I'll still be on the liquid diet for about, th let's see, two weeks. No, three weeks. Three weeks liquid diet and then incorporate a few different types of soft food uh, see how I can handle that and five weeks out or so you'll start soft meats fish chicken thighs things like that so anyway I just wanted to check in you know been a little tough you're hungry a lot so you know I just try to focus on the goal and try to stay busy but you know right now I'm averaging yeah about three pounds a day so uh anyway I Appreciate you uh, watching, and I'll check back sometime within these next uh, nine days. Single digits now, so count down to surgery. We'll see you guys later. It is Thursday morning, January 4th, 2024. Day 10 of no food. I have not eaten for 10 days. I have been on this pre-surgery liquid diet now. Uh, basically have like two protein shakes a day, maybe some water with crystal light, a lot of water, some beef broth. Um, pretty much that's been, uh, been the whole diet for 10 days. So have my, my, uh, protein shake. I'm going to throw in a little clip of how I like to make mine, but, uh, you know, I don't know. I uh, just want to touch base how it's going. For the most part, the hunger isn't too bad, so so it's going okay. But, uh, you know, you get hungry. Obviously, you're not eating. You're going to get hungry. Um, I even make dinner for Tracy <laughs> once in a while. I think I like to torture myself. But, uh, you know, people, they think this, this surgery is uh, the easy way out. It's not. This is actually really tough. And, uh, but I'm focused and I'm ready to make lifestyle changes afterwards. I've uh, pretty much worked out, man, my entire adult life. You know, used to be in great shape, did amateur bodybuilding, but uh, over the years, it's just slowly cr crept up. Um, you know, my fault, no one to blame, but uh, you know, it, it's hard to talk about, but you know, I really, Not happy with, you know, the physical person that I am now. I'm, I'm happy. I'm a, I think I'm a pretty good person, you know. Have a lot of friends. Have a wonderful wife. But uh, my life isn't bad. But I just need to make some changes. I'm not, I'm not on any medications. I've never been. No blood pressure, no diabetes, no, none of that stuff. And, but over the last couple of years, those levels are creeping in that direction and it's like I need to get control of this and get control of my life so um surgeries in four days on Monday Monday morning up in Boise Idaho Dr. Brown uh, I just got done with my pre-surgery appointment with him and 
uh, this weekend we head up there. And so, um, you know, I'll, I'll probably check in along the way, and especially the morning of, probably <laughs> after, maybe next day. We'll see. We'll be staying the night up there, having my protein shake. Yay. But, uh, you know, this is going to be a journey, but it's a journey I'm ready for. I've got the mindset and uh, ready to move forward. So thanks for uh, checking in and <laughs> I will check back with you all later. Hey guys. Well, I'm getting ready to make one of my protein shakes that I've been living off of for <laughs> like the last 10 days. Uh, Ninja blender. This thing has its regular blender thing as well as the, the mixing cups. Uh, this thing mixes awesome. But I got about eight ounces of water in there. I'm going to throw in about six ice cubes. And then I have this gold standard whey protein. I've got it in three different flavors. We got this from Costco. Uh, there's uh, like 24 grams of protein in there. It's only like one gram of sugar and I think three or four carbs. It's uh, pretty much just a protein drink, but it tastes pretty good. I like it. Uh, this one is just the vanilla. So putting in my protein. One thing I, I started trying doing, and, and it actually, I like it pretty good, is I take these crystal white uh, things, you know, no calories or any of that. Um, sometimes I'll mix it in my water just to change it up a little bit because uh, not eating all, you know, all day just can be a little tough. So I throw my uh, crystal light in there. And then I'm going to put on my mixing attachment. And this actually has a setting just for smoothies. So I just press the button. And power on. Let it roll. Okay, I guess she's done. And power off. Now, uh, today I'm using strawberry watermelon. So, uh, I've tried raspberry in there and stuff. Some different flavors. It makes it taste like a milkshake, basically. Take my uh, mixing lid off here. And put that in the sink over there. But it comes out nice and thick, you know, like a, like a shake. Then you just put on the this lid, and it's good to take to go or have it now. Um, this is my first meal today. I'm, so this is what I'm... This is uh, pretty much my meal. And that tastes pretty damn good. But a uh, couple more days. Surgery. Hey, everybody. Bobby G here, along with the lovely Mrs. G. Not so lovely this morning, <laughs> but that's all right. It's early Saturday morning, uh, January 6th, 2024. We are packed up. Truck's all packed up back there. And uh, we're getting ready to head up to Boise. Surgery is on Monday. Um, so I've gone, what, today is 12 days, I think, with yep. no food. Uh, just on the liquid diet. Actually feeling pretty good. Uh, weighed myself yesterday. I think I was down about 20 pounds from when I first started. So we'll see. Uh, getting to the final, well, the main part of this journey. <laughs> yeah. continue on after but the uh, last 12 days been tough uh of course you're gonna get hungry uh sometimes deal with some emotions but uh he's been a rock star but uh oh thanks <laughs> but uh hopefully uh, when this is all said and done i'm half a rock star yeah. but, <laughs> anyway guys i uh, just wanted to check in so Head up to Boise. We're heading up a day. Surgery's on Monday. Heading up a day early because they're calling for snow. You can see it's sort of cloudy and dre dreary out there. But uh, uh, we'll go hang out in Boise tonight. And then uh, luckily the insurance pays for the hotel. And we are uh, very much ready to go. As ready yep. as we can be. Absolutely. All right, guys. See you in Boise. Bye. I had to stop so Mrs. G could eat. Look at that. Look at that delicious, delicious sandwich. And I'm starving. <laughs> so, 
all of mine. <laughs> That's okay. I will have my uh, Premier Protein. It's a caramel uh, flavor. I think it's French. Mm. All right, heading north. We're out of Elko. Just going through the reservation here. There's Nevada. I don't know why it's facing that way, but Shoshone Paiute Tribal Headquarters. And here we are, Idaho. Halfway there. So we're at the hotel in Boise, uh, Courtyard Marriott. Got here just a little bit ago, it's snowing outside. So I'm sitting here, oh, sorry, holding the camera with my hand this time. Enjoying my water, pre-surgery. Mrs. G is over here, having a nice chicken sandwich and a salad. Mm. I feel so bad, but I have to eat. It's fine. I'm doing okay. But uh, just checking in. So one more day of this, and uh, I think the worst of it will, will be over. Hey, guys. So it is January 7th, 2024. I have now not eaten for 13 days. Uh, tomorrow is the surgery date. We are in a hotel in Idaho. Uh, that's where surgery is taking place with Dr. Brown, uh, Idaho BMI, I guess it's the name of his clinic, mm -hmm. very highly rated. Um, but anyway, uh, how are you? How are things? I'm good. Yeah. Everything's good. Yeah. Yeah, things are okay. Um, you know, last few days been a little tough, but not too bad. Had a tough day a couple of days ago, but... Uh, Right. Just ready to uh, to move on, get this done, get back to where I can eat a little bit, at least healthy stuff. <laughs> and, uh, man, liquids for, uh, only liquids, protein shakes, broth, sugar-free jello, sugar-free yep. Gatorade, and lots of water. Uh, that's all I've had for over two weeks, or not over two weeks, 13 days, almost two weeks. So, um, it's been a struggle, but I try to stay busy, not think about it, and, uh, Mrs. G has been great. She ate a hell of a nice sandwich in front of me on the way down here. <laughs> he keeps here showing yesterday. videos of me eating. I'm yeah. like, you know, I still have to do that. Oh, that sandwich <laughs> smelled so good. It had these onions on it that just uh, smelled amazing. <laughs> but I think right now uh, a roasted fart would, would taste good. So. <laughs> um, anyway, so just wanted to check in. I... The last time I weighed myself was like two days ago. I was down 20 pounds even. Uh, so I don't have no idea where it's at now. But uh, anyway, we'll probably check in tomorrow before surgery. And again, after surgery, hopefully uh, there is an after surgery. So anyway, guys, we will talk to you later. Thank you. Bye. Good morning. Good morning. It's time for you to go get your surgery. Mm. <laughs> Hmm, day is finally here. It is. Time to head to the hospital. Here we are, Everest Surgical Center. Yay. Woo! Oh, look at me. Close up of Mrs. G. Very icy and cold out right now. 14 degrees. 14 degrees. Idaho BMI, and BMI stands for Bobby Must Improve. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here we go. Well, here I am, pre-surgery, waiting to go on in. Got me all tagged in. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Getting me all taken care of here. And uh, pretty soon we'll be on the other side of this. Thank you. Um, well, waiting for the anesthesiologist. They let me hang on to my phone for right now, so I figured I might as well record something. Uh, 
imagine my turn's coming up. They'll uh, come in here. I thought I was in and everything already. And uh, wheel me into surgery. Tracy's in the other room. I'm looking forward to uh, getting done with this. Looking forward to being able to eat again. So, all right, my friends. Stay tuned. Finally, to this point, we'll see what's in store for me over the next couple months. I'm surprisingly calm. I would think I'd be more nervous, but I'm actually sort of tired on the verge of wanting to just take a nap. There we go. Heading out. Heading out. <laughs> Little bump. Little bump. Oh. Nice and crisp out here. I appreciate all your help. Anyway, I'm on my way home from the doctor. My torso hurts really bad from the gas that they pump you up with. It's supposed to lessen through the day. I've had a burp. Uh, but made it through. Done. Tracy's driving me home. And we'll see what happens. Hey, everybody. Bobby G here. Looking a little haggard. <laughs> um, it is Wednesday, January 10th, 2024. Surgery was two days ago. I didn't film much the first two days after surgery. We were <clears throat> staying in a hotel up there in Boise. Uh, we drove home yesterday. Thank goodness Tracy made a call to let's just go. I wanted to stay an extra day because the snow came in heavy today. We would have been stranded someplace. But... Just wanted to touch base where I'm at. Like I said, surgery was two days ago. Surgery itself went fine. When they do a surgery like this, they inflate inside your torso with a, a CO2 gas or something. Uh, sort of expands everything. It's to make it easier to, uh, you know, uh, assess or, or access your internal organs where they got to do what they got to do in there. Uh, in my case, it was remove... A good portion of the stomach leaving me just a little pouch <clears throat> but that gas most of the time has to work its way out some people it doesn't affect some people it does it me it definitely affected i was in so much pain afterwards once i got back to the hotel and the painkillers wore off um it just felt like my insides were going to explode from the inside out i mean it felt like my everything was just pushing outward <clears throat> it really affected me bad. It was excruciatingly painful. And I just, you have to like try to burp, try to get gases out to relieve that pressure. A lot of it gets absorbed in the blood, but you got to sort of help get it out. And uh, that time just went past fast enough. Uh, that, that whole first day after surgery, then that following night, it was just misery. Uh, the pain let, started letting up. Then yesterday morning, um, I started actually getting some sleep because I didn't sleep hardly at all. That first night, you couldn't get comfortable. You'd lay down or something, start to feel comfortable, and then the pain would just come back 100 times stronger. So no matter what I did, I couldn't ease it. And I was walking. You got to walk a lot, um, like it once an hour. That helps get rid of the gas. It also helps prevent blood clots. Um, so, you know, I was trying to follow the instructions, but... Anyway, it seems like the worst of that has passed. I'm sipping water and some Gatorade right now. I haven't eat, tried a protein shake or anything. It's just little bits of water make your stomach sort of cramp up like you're full. It's a weird feeling, but you, you can't take very much at a time. But uh, I feel like the worst of it's behind, be behind me, hopefully. There's no other complications. And uh, we'll just keep checking back in. I know I look haggard. I haven't showered. I haven't brushed my hair. Um... But, you know, I just had surgery and we did a four-hour drive <laughs> home yesterday. So, oh yeah, I uh, weighed myself this morning. So, with today, I guess I haven't eaten in 18 days. No, 16 days, I guess, something like that. I don't know. Um, but I'm down over 28 pounds. 
in these last couple of weeks. So just keep going, uh, doing what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully uh, I look a little more, a little more <laughs> better. I know it's hard to look any better because I'm always just a mess. But uh, hopefully on the next one, we'll have good things to report too. So, oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to add is, you know, they, they do this uh, laparoscopic, whatever they call it. You know, they just go in with these little instruments. Everything's done on camera. Um, I have three small incisions on my abdomen in the belly area there. And uh, I'll, I'll show you a picture of what it looks like. But there's that's where they go in with their cameras and do their little things. Just three little incisions. They put some sort of glue thing on it to after they're done. And, you know, in time it just falls off. It is Thursday, January 11th, 2024. Um, I am four days post-op had surgery on Monday and uh, just checking in on how I'm doing um, right now the the toughest thing is I, I'm still on a liquid diet and I have to try to get in at least 64 ounces of, of fluids water Gatorade things like that um, and I can only consume just a little bit at a time so constantly sipping on water keeping track of it trying to uh, prevent myself from being dehydrated uh, all in all, feel pretty good. I really am not hungry. Um, I am looking forward to being able to get on some soft foods here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I have to get up and try to walk around at least once an hour. I've pretty much just been kicking back at home. We've had quite a bit of snow here lately, so going outside and walking around is really not uh, very convenient <laughs> right now. Pretty cold. But uh, try to get up and move around the house. Um, they gave me these compression things to put on your, your calves. And it sort of squeezes them. Uh, it's just to promote blood flow, prevent uh, blood clots, things like that. Um, as of this morning, I am down 30 pounds from when I first started the liquid diet two weeks pre-op. So it's all heading in the, the right direction. Uh, where I end up, I'm not quite sure, but uh, stomach's healing up pretty good. Incision's still a little sore, but uh, hanging in there. Today is January 16th, Tuesday, January 16th, and I am eight days post-op <clears throat> out of uh, my bariatric surgery, and uh, just wanted to check in, let you know how things are going. So far, actually pretty good, feeling good. Um, still in the liquid diet phase. Got about another week and a half, two weeks to go on that. But uh, I did try a little bit of hard boiled egg all smashed up with uh, some <laughs> olive oil mayo uh, just to see how it felt. And I was just so hungry and uh, had a little bit of that. Seemed to stomach it okay. Uh, seemed to process okay. But uh, I'll pretty much stick to the to the liquid. But man, did it taste good after not eating for three weeks. Um, that I think uh, last checked, I'm down about 32 pounds right now. Uh, so ways to go, but it's a good start. Um, for the most part, things have been pretty smooth. First few days after surgery were were the the roughest, which is probably normal. Uh, Sort of embarrassing but I think it took like six days to finally poop <laughs> and uh, that was extremely painful I was uh, very backed up had to use some uh, high strength laxatives and such and uh, some different things to finally get something to move but uh, honestly I was starting to get pretty concerned I thought because it was getting painful and uh, I thought maybe I was going to end up having to go to the hospital or something because it was it was backed up pretty good. And I mean, not a ton came out, but when it did, it was like a shit in a rock. So a black rock. It was uh, it's not not pretty, but I think that's probably the worst thing that I've I've had to deal with so far. Uh, grocery bills are quite minimal. One of the things I did notice is I have a lot of these pre-made pure protein shakes, uh, makes it real convenient, you know, 
when you're traveling and stuff to uh, take those with you. And I got a variety of flavors, but after the surgery, there's a lot of them that just don't taste too good. They're almost like too sweet. I, I can't, uh, can't palate that. It, so I just drinking the ones that are, that are okay. Uh, some broths, Gatorade. I seem to do quite a bit of Gatorade, my daily bariatric vitamin. Uh, they gave me pills for uh, pain meds. Uh, they gave me some blood thinners to help prevent blood clots. And uh, I'm trying to remember the other one. <clears throat> but uh, I, I quit taking the pain pills and such early on. Oh, the other one was for nausea. So I, I quit taking the, the nausea and the pain pills pretty early on. I'm supposed to take this Eliquis for the first month. So I'm continuing to take that for doctor's orders. Um, other than that, I think so far things are going good. Just going to try to stick to the plan. Uh, you know, Tracy's been very supportive, helps me out quite a bit when I need it. Um, I enjoy watching her eat a steak once in a while, but uh, when I, uh, in a week or two, when I can start soft foods, uh, I'll be starting with like cottage cheese, string cheese, um, avocado and like eggs uh like you can you know soft scrambled hard boiled and smash them up that kind of thing so looking forward to that and then you know a week after that or so i can start with some soft meats chicken thigh uh you know stuff like that tuna salmon but so far so good i will uh day after tomorrow i go back to work so thursday i i hit get back to work and start trying to get back in a normal groove. And then we'll uh, just continue the journey, see how it goes. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Just checking in from uh, a post-op update. I am now 18 days post-op. Uh, I am starting to try some soft foods. I, uh, Try it, I don't know, probably a week and a half, two weeks out, and it was just, uh, didn't quite sit well. Took a few bites of something and went back to the liquid thing. But uh, actually scheduled to start soft foods day after tomorrow, but uh, I've been dabbling with a little bit of egg now. Um, so from here, I'm supposed to just do soft foods, uh, cottage cheese, string cheese, eggs, like soft boiled or soft wet scrambled and uh, avocado. So that's sort of where I'm at. There's still supposed to be no carbs, obviously no sugar, no alcohol, no heroin, no cocaine, still just uh, water and soft foods. Um, so far things have been pretty good. I don't get hungry very much, uh, a little bit. Uh, gotta be careful though. You consume too much liquid or anything too, too quick, you can uh, not feel very good. Uh, as of yesterday, I weighed myself. I am down 42 pounds from when I started the liquid diet pre-surgery. But, uh, you know, interesting, uh, journey ahead of me. Uh, I'm in another week or two. I can start with some soft meats like maybe tuna, salmon, uh, like chicken thigh meat, things like that. Nothing too fibrous or dry and uh, see how that goes. Hey everybody, Bobby G here, and uh, today is February 5th, 2024, and I am just checking in. Uh, today is actually uh, 28 days exactly, so four weeks uh, from the day I had my bariatric surgery done, the gastric sleeve. Um, about a week ago or so, I started on soft foods and kick the the protein shakes uh that's sort of how it progresses um so right now i'm pretty much living off of small curd low-fat cottage cheese avocados low-fat string cheese and mostly hard-boiled eggs sometimes i'll make them scramble but those are pretty much the four foods that i can eat right now uh doesn't take much uh usually if i'm eating hard-boiled egg i'll mash it up with some light mayo or something make it like an egg salad a little bit eat that with some avocado slices or uh, you know a variety of these but really it's it's very small portions uh 
I don't know ounce wise how much it is, but you know, maybe a three quarters of a cup of food total, if that. Uh, you know, usually one egg and a half of avocado will, will do me. Um, sometimes I'll do two eggs, but I usually can't finish that. But uh, anyway, so far things are going pretty good. Um, I am down a total of 47 pounds so far. So that big 50 is, is coming up. Uh, uh, hopefully, maybe sometime this week or later this week, I, I hit that 50 pound mark. Most of my clothes are <laughs> getting pretty loose. Uh, most of my pants don't fit me anymore. Um, you know, cinching everything in with a belt. I want to go buy some new clothes, but I'm, you know, I still want to lose about another, I'm hoping about another 30 pounds. So, uh, if I buy anything, it'll hopefully just be <laughs> temporary, maybe, uh, two pairs of pants or something. But, um, I had some pants that I couldn't even button before that I, I wear now that were, you know, are loose on me. Uh, passed up all the notches in my belt, but I just wanted to sort of check in at the one month mark and, and, uh, just let everybody know how things were going. I feel for the most part, I feel pretty good. Um, this last week on my days off, those of you who don't know, I work for the mine. So I work four or five days on, I have four or five days off when I'm working. There's really not a whole lot of time for anything except sleep when I get home. But, uh, here on these last days off, um, I've been off for the last four days. We go back to work tomorrow. But uh, I started hitting the gym, just doing cardio for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I've, I've done that three days um, on these days off. Feeling pretty good energy-wise. It, it's For the most part, I feel pretty good. Sometimes the the energy is, is a little lacking. But uh, I'm only eating, well, the doctor wants me to eat only once a day. Sometimes I eat twice a day. But calorie wise, I'm probably around six, seven hundred calories a day right now. Um, even if I have two meals, they're small, fairly spread out. I'm not doing a lot of protein drinks anymore. Uh, a lot of water, a lot of sugar free Gatorade, um, just for the electrolytes. But um, started to poop normal again here this last <laughs> week, a few times anyway. That has been uh, quite an ordeal. That's sort of nasty, but that's part of. Uh, uh, this is, you know, getting back things back to regular, uh, shortly after the surgery, it was either nothing for quite a while. And then it was like a brick, a painful brick, or it was just liquid. But, uh, and, uh, first couple of weeks there was some blood, which had me concerned, but the doctor said it's sort of normal after they remove, you know, 80 some percent of your stomach or whatever it is. But, but for the most part, feeling good and uh, just wanted to check in. So we'll uh, see you guys down the road. Hey guys, Bobby G here. Um, been a little while since I've done an update. Um, just sort of been progressing, but uh, I think I'm coming towards the end of this, this uh, clip of video updates anyway, and put the whole story out there. But uh, so I'm, I guess I'm 73, 74 days out now, something like that. So, you know, it's been uh, about 10 weeks. <clears throat> I am almost 70 pounds down um, when I weighed myself the last time, uh, which is fantastic. Had to uh, take all my, go through my closet and I took a ton of shirts and a uh, ton of pants out and took them to the local charity that has a food bank and thrift store and, and things like that and donated. Um, had to go buy new pants a couple times now. Um, still have a little ways to go, probably about another 15 pounds, and I will, will be at my goal weight. But this has been quite uh, an adventure. So, yeah, you throw in the, the couple weeks pre-diet and all that. It's been three months. But uh, whoever said, you know, people think that this is cheating or an easy way out to lose weight. This has probably been one of the most difficult things I've I've ever done. Um, it's taken a lot of focus and <clears throat> a lot of you know, basically focus and determination, willpower to uh, stick to the plan. And uh, especially uh, the, especially those first two weeks doing that pre diet, just liquids, and then you do liquids for another three weeks. Afterwards, it was easier to do liquids after the surgery than before. 
but even now, you know, I can eat a lot of different stuff, but I'm keeping my diet pretty simple. It's basically a protein based diet, uh, very little carbs of any sort, a um, little bit, you know, uh, I do eat a little bit of vegetables. I've had a few different kinds, but uh, it's mostly eggs, uh, salmon, um, avocados, uh, pork loin, you know, different things like that, chicken, but uh, a lot of fish, a lot of eggs. And, uh, you know, I still get hungry like, like before. Like you feel like you're really hungry and then you go and you eat and after about six or eight bites, it's, uh, you know, you're full. It's it maybe a little more than that, but uh, depending on what you're eating. Uh, you know, if we go to a restaurant, I'll order a salmon plate or something like that. I just eat the fish and, you know, and I'm done. Uh, you have to eat real slow. You know, chew everything like 25 times. Wait about two minutes between bites. And uh, that's hard to remember sometimes. There's been times where I've been hungry and I chow down a little chunk of salmon real fast and stomach gets upset, end up throwing up. It, it just sort of happens, but it's, it's different. It's different because it's almost like it's right there. It's not like it's coming from deep in your, your body. Um, it's almost like you're burping and it, and it just comes up. So as long as I don't eat too fast, that doesn't, doesn't happen. Um, I haven't got into trying a whole lot of other things. Uh, you know, I, I've just been trying to be careful, you know. I still haven't had any carbonated drinks. I'm staying away from alcohol. Uh, drink a lot of water, but uh, you know, this has been quite quite the uh, journey. And uh, you know, I, I've put a few pictures online, uh, mostly on Twitter, like face pictures, or you know, I did a little before and after video when I hit 60 pounds, uh, wearing the same clothes. But uh, you know, Tracy's been great. She's been a huge support but you know i've traveled i've done a lot of different things and i still managed to, to stick to everything even went to vegas didn't have any alcohol which was uh, uh, a feat in itself i think for especially for a lot of people uh it's easy to overindulge there never had big meals so i just want to do a quick update uh the next time i i uh, come out to, uh, with a video it's probably going to be the whole deal from start to to now but uh, I've been trying to vlog this as I go I haven't done one for a few weeks because it's just sort of been slow steady progress not a not a lot of different stuff anyway guys if you've watched this and you've stuck through this this video I've I uh, appreciate it it's been an amazing journey it's not over yet it's far from over um, you know I still have a little ways to go to get to my goal weight and then it's all about maintaining and, and living my life a little bit different uh, hitting the gym on days off on a regular basis. That's been feeling really good. A lot easier to move around when you're uh, not carrying an extra 70 pounds. So, but uh, like I said, probably about another 15, I'll, I'll be happy where I'll be at. Anyway, guys, we'll see you. I got to get to work. That's why I'm dressed like this. It's a work day. So we'll see you. Now we move back. So my bed I lost sight our mix I dey give you bed we go boss your brain to dance let we dance I dey give you bed we go boss your brain to dance let we dance Oh for all way di ay mo keke yang mo keke Oh for all way di ay mo keke yang mo keke yang mo keke